hello everybody welcome to the channel i appreciate you for clicking on this video today we'll be getting into some very unique effects so let's get right into it okay so we have our clip here and this is from the new movie hustle and um this effect uh the link is in the description below this is the dramatic crash zoom effect And when you download this effect, um, it will be located in the titles section. And it will be under my titles whenever you download that. So, okay, now on to the effect. Now we will adjust uh, this parameter box right here to make it zoom on his face. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add keyframes to the blurs. So it's just gonna be, we're gonna add keyframes all the way down right here. So add your keyframes and we're gonna scrub through the timeline. As you can see, his face is blurry. So we want to put the center of the blur up a little bit as you can see his face is clearing up a bit and we can expand the radius of it so his face will clear up and as that is happening we want to I'm gonna increase the zoom amount just a little bit we don't want it too strong and as we scrub through our timeline, once we get closer to his face, we're going to reduce the mix a bit down to about 38. As we keep scrubbing, as it gets closer and closer, we're going to reduce the mix. So we're going to take the mix all the way down the closest it gets. So now let's play that back. That's a really, really good effect right there. A dramatic crash zoom effect. And you can bring this down. You can take the title down and decrease the size of it. You see it's going throughout the next scene as it pops out. It has a end animation that pops out. And it's just a simple drag and drop. That's the dramatic crash zoom effect. It's a very effective effect that you can use throughout movies, you know, music videos, documentaries. You can get really creative with this effect. Now let's move on to the next one. And this is The Weeknd's music video, The Hills. You can go check that out on YouTube. And what we're gonna do here is a simple effect. It's just a drag and drop effect, but it is going to make this video completely different. And this is a shutter effect. It's a very, very cool effect. The link is in the description. When you download this effect, it will be located in the effects tab. And um, as I drag this on, the clip. Let's see. I'm gonna go back to our inspector panel. And before this even starts, I'm gonna turn the number down to about six and the amount down to about 2.9 and the delay down a bit as well. All right. So um, let's actually check this off and let's look at the scene one more time to get you a good look at the at what we're working with. All right, now when we add the shutter effect and click the checkbox, let's see how this looks now. The whole dynamic of the video changes. As you can see, this is kind of like a low shutter effect that perceives as if somebody's under the influence drunk or really intoxicated off some type of drug or something like that but 
It's just an easy drag and drop plugin. Now let's move on to the next one. Okay, for our next effect, we'll be doing a cool tiling effect and let's get into it. So we're gonna go to our effects tab and we're gonna go type in tile. And then we're gonna click on this tile right here. As you can see, it's already working. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add keyframes. So I'm gonna add a keyframe right here till the end of this scene. So about right here. And I'm gonna go out a bit about to 11.37. And now let's go back to the beginning of the clip and let's see how this looks. Very cool. And if you wanna add some more to this clip, you can add another keyframe and go to the end of this scene and go down to is one if you go to one it's gonna zoom in pretty fast so if you wanted to zoom in kind of slow you can bring it up to about six or seven maybe five I'm just bringing it into one just to show you how dramatic the effect can be and now let's see how this looks pretty cool effect right there And that is a quick free effect that you can do in Final Cut Pro to enhance your music videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. Um, if this helped you out in any way, consider liking and consider subscribing because we will be dropping a lot of content soon. And you would want to be the first to check that out. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.